So after downloading crap and updating crap all day long, it seems like for hours, I finally get to spend a little time here playing the Hot Wheels expansion pack on Forza Horizon 3. Uh, in a few minutes, I'll have my wife, Mama Clutch, in here managing the comments on the live stream. So right now, this is the first I've seen of this. So let's hope it's not just waves and water for hours. It's already moving slow. Uh, I've literally been working for like two or three hours just to get this live stream set up with all the downloads and updates and such. Here we go. We got something going on. How's my sound, if anybody? No one's watching yet. I'm all alone here in the great universe. I'm a big Hot Wheels fan. I've already done two Hot Wheels giveaways on the channel. So I'm extremely excited about this. And I know she's going to walk in the room and scare me to death coming in behind me. What have we got going on here? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of explore things tonight and maybe do some racing, maybe do some builds. But I'll come back later in the week. Oh, looks like it starts me out in a car. That's weird. So, I guess I'll just go with the flow here. Looks like we got some kind of speed booster Mario Kart type thing. And I just ran off the end of the world. There we go. I haven't done any of the Forza expansions at all, so I'm not familiar with how any of this works. I am glad to see that I also got the Blizzard Mountain expansion with this one. So we'll be coming back and doing some builds with that later. Also, even though it's already kind of old hat for a lot of you, this thing needs like some nitrous or something. The draft. Not enough draft. This thing kind of handles like a hot rod. It doesn't really stick too well. I hope this track is going somewhere. I'm smiling like a little kid. I'm actually enjoying myself here. That was unexpected. Get in the wall. Get away from me, guys. Oh, I'm gonna wreck. I'm gonna wreck. I'm gonna wreck. So what happens if I don't make one of those jumps? Let's just find out. What the hell was that, too? Guess it helps me there. Handicap. Back on the throttle. Drive a following me. Here's the big dinosaur again. He's asleep this time. I keep wanting to reach up here and hit this button, this top right button for like Nitrous or something. I feel like this car is really slow. Ah, we actually made it that time. The dinosaur, the second dinosaur was asleep. So you pass him once, you get the thrill, and after that it's, it's over. They're just hanging out. You know, one of the biggest things I'm excited about more than anything on this expansion pack is the new barn find that's supposed to come with it, the 32 Ford. It's one of my favorite cars of all time, the Deuce Coupe. I definitely look forward to building many of those cars, not just one, but I'm gonna have a whole garage full of them. Try to build it in as many different ways as possible. I might actually get motion sickness from playing this. Okay, here we go. Maybe this is taking us somewhere. Something. So it looks like that was just an introduction. Here we go. I have achieved something. Welcome to Horizon Hot Wheels Survive, your first drive at Horizon Hot Wheels. Okay. Let's just continue. So sounds like 
Sounds like somebody coming out here now. So this car is free, and it's really ugly and funky looking. So let's see here. Confirm choice. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Not sure how you acquire the other Hot Wheels cars, though. a lot of turbo work on that. Hey, Brian. Yes? Okay, so there's a few, just a couple of races looks like and a horizon festival here so there's uh one speed trap race 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 and that's all for now so let's see here Oh, so it looks like my dog came out here to help instead of my wife. What am I doing wrong here? I see the map. I don't want to be in the map. I guess I'm going to have to set a route somewhere. It's making me. Okay, so I really wanted to go on the Horizon Festival and see how I can get these other hot wheels cars. Turn right. But let's, uh, let's just take this thing and go race it. At your destination. Epic stunt sprint. Um, Hot Wheels campaign. We'll just stick with that. So here I have the option to do any of my old cars that I already own or the new Hot Wheels. Can you scoot over a bit there? You kick the camera cable. Just a second. Okay, so I've got my wife here handling comments now. And I really want to use a different car than this thing that I just got. But since we are exploring the Hot Wheels expansion, let's just go ahead and take it. See how it does. Not a big fan of this music, I can tell you that. Okay. Start this race. I'm going to run this thing just completely stock like a cane. I'm racing against RX7, RX8, and some other stuff back there. Whoa, this is sliding around like I'm on ice. And extremely slow. What's going to happen on these? If I'm not going fast enough, can I fall off of this? Evidently no, not. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing. You know, the interesting thing here, even though the car is sliding around and it's slow, unlike other races, everyone's not piling up in the corners. They're actually just kind of driving along. These tracks are actually kind of to where you can drive like a kid and just stay on the throttle the whole time. You don't really have to try to use your skills or anything. You don't have to let off the throttle. I'm just 
I got those all pinned. Of course, I'm in my wall now. And it's going to give you these little boosts to jump and get you across. And you can fall off the edge of the world like I just did there. So, I'm down to ninth place. Maybe it's time I actually focus on what I do here. Try to accomplish something. Looks like this thing has eight gears. It's in eighth gear right now at 150 miles per hour. So maybe there's hope to actually make this thing fast. Definitely wants to slide on this track. Looks like if you actually try to not slide and try to take the turns right, you can. Or you can just keep your throttle all the way to the floor and drive like a 12 year old and bounce off the walls. No offense, 12 year olds. I really just, I feel like I'm going so slow on here. I need to get my Centenario. And this is a very long race. I'm only at 74%. I feel like I've been under forever. to go back and like make a real race of this with a real car. Awesome skill chain. Just for keeping it on the road I get an awesome skill chain. Hey there's somebody else that ran off the edge of the road. Just like me. So I'm at 95% completion. I just ran off the road. I have no idea how to get back up there now. I'm completely off the track. I guess I have to miss a checkpoint. I could have probably reset the car and got myself back on. That was a little awkward. So now I am officially one position away from dead last. And there you go. So... Let's not restart. Let's just uh, continue here. That's a medium hard. So I finished the easier at dead last, almost dead last place. Pretty impressive. And I've accomplished something else here. Rare achievement, the upside down. So let's let's go find something. Let's see what else there is here in this new world. The world of hot wheels. I do like that turbo sound. Listen. A little turbo mark. Don't know anything about this car. I don't even know if this thing's supposed to be all-wheel drive. So that was supposed to have been the epic stunt sprint, which had me thinking maybe we we're going to be doing some big jumps or something. But there really wasn't much. Let's get back over to the festival. Where's it at? Byron Bay. Let's get back over here and see what other cards we have available to us or how to get them. You know, we need to try to build this thing too. I mean, it's stock right now. I know. Uh, it's before I go too far. Made to order perk. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the garage and see what we can do with this guy. Engine swaps, stock powertrain, 
four cylinder motorbike engine, a 1.6 liter four cylinder, or a three liter V8. Let's go with the V8. Uh, looks like it's two wheel drive to begin with. It looks like an all wheel drive vehicle, so let's make it all wheel drive. And of course, let's turbocharge it to keep the sound. That's all that really matters. Um, what can we change here? So we can do these funky looking little, I guess it's supposed to be a wing. Somehow it makes me feel like a, the car has a big red clown nose on the front of it when I do this. We're gonna do it anyway. What about a wing for the back? Oh, holy cow. That's a huge Hot Wheels looking wing. Now let's just top this thing out, make all the power we can with it. Do that one. Okay, big brakes. Oh, all we can do on the brakes and suspension is sway bars. So we're going to stiffen up the front and rear sway bars. Let's do our entire drivetrain. Not a whole lot to offer here either. You know, this really is begging to be an off-road build. The way the car sits. We've done everything else. Yeah, we can't even do street tires. All we can do is change the size of the dirt tires that are on it. Um, you know, I kind of like those wheels. Let's leave those there. We can change the size of the rims, though. All the way up to a 21. It's kind of ridiculous looking. So it starts off as a 14 inch rim. It needs to be at least a 17. Let's do that. And then the back, since it is a Hot Wheels, let's go with 18 inch rims. So we've done everything else. Let's get out of here and install this. Uh, that takes us from 205 horsepower, which makes sense while the thing was so slow, to 775 horsepower. And we've gone from a B class to an S1 class. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and install that. I do want to throw a paint job on this thing because that that's nose, the front end really seriously looks like a big clown nose to me here. Let's see if I can adjust the camera some. It kind of got knocked around there and it's moving. We'll just leave it like that. Designs and paints. Oh, it's leaving the nose red. That's not too bad. Let's play around here and really make this thing unique. Do a while. I need to do saturation first. There we go. Saturation in the 80% range. Now, look, it's a Christmas car. The blue looks pretty good. Let's stick with the blue. Let's do the windows. This car does not have windows or they cannot be tinted, but they're red to start with. Thanks, Hot Wheels. So, what about the rims? So it's only going to let you change the inside portion of the wheels there. Let's go with polished carbon fiber. Wing, no wing. Mirrors, no mirrors. Hood. The hood cannot be painted, so I can't really even paint that front grill there. That's not too bad looking. Let's get out of here. Save the current car and use the paint shop to change the color of the grill to like a black color.
So it looks like to paint this front end here, you've got to you've got to use the sides of the car. Let's see if that did right. Don't think it did. You have to use the side to paint the front. It's kind of weird, but we can get around that. And then the top also. Move that forward. Not sure what I think about the logo on the side of the car here. Let's see. Let's make it red to match the windows. And put a background to it here. Can barely see that. go cut that out let's go to the left side and put the same thing here let's see this one a little bit better That's good enough. We'll take this thing for a spin now that it's faster and see what we can accomplish. See if we can actually win a race. Maybe win some of these other cars here. I do plan on live streaming this pretty much every night this week and hopefully hit a little earlier in the day on the coming days. Tonight's just the first night, so I had to get everything downloaded. We kind of wound up getting on here a little bit late. Here we go, the car looks pretty good. Let's do some adjusting on it though. Tune. Let's run our tire pressure all the way down. It's kind of funny, they start you out in a car with dirt tires on it, but they want you to race on these big plastic tracks. So we're gonna stiffen up our sway bars really stiff. I want to run my downforce, my aerodynamic downforce all the way up. And then I also want to drop the rad height all the way to the ground. As low as it'll go. That was, that's almost a four inch drop there. So let's see what this thing does now. There we go. That's more what we're shooting for. So it looks like we got another race up here. kind of hard to tell where the road is or where the road's going. It's just all a big expanse out in front of you. So Epic Stunt Sprint B-Class Racing Tier. Oh no, that just kicked me out, didn't it? I can't even use the car I just built. Because it's not a B-Class. 
Well, that doesn't make any sense. Ah. So it looks like you can create your own stunts here. I think I'd heard of this, but wasn't wasn't paying attention. Let's set as stunt one. Set as stunt two. What stunt? Oh, jumping through fire. Oh, that's a big stunt. Um, let's make this as stunt two. Okay, it's big dip. Race settings. Clear afternoon. Blah blah blah. Edit name. So really, the only way you can edit the games here is to edit these stunts. You can't edit the types of vehicles that are going to be in it doesn't look like edit name create blueprint so yeah that's all we've got we can just do unless I'm looking at this wrong we can only change the track but not what cars are available so this puts me back to running these same type cars uh, let's see here Want something fast enough to actually have a chance to win. I think this car was actually built as a B class race car. So let's let's give this Acura a try. See what happens. Okay, let's actually try to compete this time. Oh, that guy's a lot faster than us. What kind of car is that? This is the stunt, I guess you say, that I put in. These jumps here. I think I was supposed to slow down there. So that was my stunt that I put in there. You can only pick two, two stunts to add to it. So. It takes a little getting used to driving on this track instead of seeing... Uh, you know, asphalt and, and seeing stuff go by. We're just on this all orange track, so it's kind of hard to tell how fast you're going when you're coming at the turns, it seems. Like that right there. a lot harder to miss those checkpoint flags. Those things always seem to throw you off. It's a, at least a 10 second loss when you miss one of those. Wow, my car is just getting destroyed here. I can pull a draft off this guy. Again, there's like, you know, I can't tell how fast I'm going from here.
Uh, so third place that time. the dinosaur supposed to be doing something. Every time you run a race you achieve something here it seems kind of strange. So it's taking me a bit to get used to this new way of setting up the races. I definitely don't want to keep racing B-class cars. That's no fun at all. Uh, let's see here. Hot Wheels Travel to Hot Wheels Rivals Bucket List. Da, da, da. Hot Wheel Forza, Forza Horizon Three VIP. Da, da, da. Private session. Co-op. Free run. I'm already there. Really want to see. Go to Auto Show. These are my cars. I want to see where you can buy these other Hot Wheels cars or, or how you get them. <clears throat> so, view all. Made to order, blah, 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 who cares? So, let's see. Maybe they're, maybe they're under Hot Wheels for H or something. Aha. Hot Wheels, there we go. So, they're free. So, all I gotta do is just come get them. <clears throat> we've got the uh, the Rip Rod that we've been ripping around in. And the Bone Shaker, which is my favorite. Hot Wheels Mustang, whatever. Twin Mill. Let's see here, which one is the fastest? I think the Twin Mill is supposed to be the highest horsepower of any stock car in any game. I want to do a full-on build of the Bone Shaker, so I may wait on that till tomorrow. Let's see if we can do something with this Mustang here. Let's see what recommended designs are out there. Oh, that's not too bad. A lot of people already going to town painting these things. So it's free, I just want to claim it. So you can do some color changes here, just when you buy it looks like. Kind of interesting how all the paint only does it only does part of the body and not that front clip. We'll just take it like it is. Select confirm choice. Yes. I want to drive this stock and see how fast it is to start with and then come back. I'll take a brief second. My wife just left. She was managing comments when there were no comments. So I'll hop over every once in a while and look at the computer. It's about five or six feet from me, so I'm a little too old to read the screen. But let's see here. I'll try the Koenigsegg. I don't know if I have that car. I don't think I do. But maybe we'll try to get one. I don't know if I have enough credits for it either. Well, let's see here. Let's take this Mustang for a quick rip, and then I'll go back and see if I can do the connection. Holy cow. What is this engine? This thing just sounds insane. And... Oh, good. I thought I was about to die. This is a pretty, pretty crazy car here. Maybe I like it more than I thought I was going to like it. Oh, 
big wreck in the water. Am I dead yet? Am I dead yet? Nope, not dead yet. This is this part is nuts. Listen to that engine. I'm gonna have to take this thing back and see what it can do like on Goliath or something. But it needs tuning. It almost seems like it's like a drift build almost. Holy crap. Oh good, the water is only two feet deep. Oh good grief, I can't stand driving through that water for so long. Let's fast travel to something, somewhere. Medium difficulty, that's B class. How was bucket list? Blueprint, bucket list. Let's see what this does. Create and browse. So this is a blueprint bucket list. Speed camera, skill root, skill mastery, drift zone, damage control. Don't want to do that in this car. Set a route, skill score, danger sign. Da -da. Let's just do speed camera, something easy for now. What's going on? It's not letting me do it. Time of day, whatever. Don't want music. Okay. I'm just kind of stumbling along here, if you haven't noticed. I have no idea what I'm doing. Set speed target. Looks like the mini map is on the left. Let's just go as fast as we can without wrecking. Oh great! I've got a big right-hand turn. Turn right. Yeah, I'm turning right. Oh, the wall there. Plastic is not the best surface for traction in an automobile. <laughs> I set a speed of 104 miles per hour. Uh, let's just get out of that. This car blueprint, yeah, that's not worth keeping. Okay, I'll go and see if I even have a Koenigsegg. Don't think I do. I think they're pretty expensive cars, aren't they? I spent all my money in the game building old cars, hot rods, and muscle cars. And then wondering why I have them, because they're not good for racing. To my garage, my cars. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, S, F, G, H, J, H, I, J, K, L, M. There's no case. H, I, J, K, L. I don't have a Koenigsegg. Let's see if we can buy one. I've never tried that. The whole backwards thing with the Koenigsegg. Koenig, Koenig, however you want to say it. I haven't tried that, so let's, if I have the money, I'll try it. H-I-J-K, L-M-N-O-P. I really do know my alphabet. So it's the Regera, the one, Agera. Well, that's really creative naming. The Regera and the Agera. So it's the Regera, right? I don't have enough. And VIP membership. I ain't spending 20 bucks. 
I just spent 34 bucks to do this. So it looks like I don't have the ability to do that with the connection. But let's see what we can do with this Mustang as far as a build goes. I do not want to swap the engine in this thing just because I like the insane sound. Looks like we can convert to a V10 and lose power or a V12 gain a little power. So what the heck has it got in it in the first place? It's currently wheel, rear wheel drive. I really want an all-wheel drive Mustang. We're going to make this one all-wheel drive. Um, turbocharging it actually hurts us. We lose low-end torque, but we gain a little bit more torque in the mid-range. Hmm, that's a toss-up. I think I'm going to stay away from that for now. I do want to do something with the wheels. I hate this mismatched looking like Mad Max type wheel thing they got going on here. Not a fan of that. So what kind of wheels do we need on this car? This the car is kind of a Mad Max looking car, so it doesn't need to be a nice looking wheel. that maybe maybe yeah we'll go with that for now but maybe I swear I get so addicted to looking at wheels on this game what if we made this car I mean it's already like a mean Mad Max torn up looking type car what if we made it like a nice looking car like you're really gonna get this thing and drive it on the street those wheels add 40 pounds that's insane if that were the case, what would you do? That's not too bad. I like going all the way down here to the weld type wheels. But that wouldn't be bad if we go with the whole car in black. Let's do that now. Tires. Which one does it say? So they're 295. We can go all the way up to a 335. I'm amazed at how much this is letting me do to this car. I kind of thought it was going to be one of those that was pretty much already topped out in every way. We're going to go with 20 inch rims on this thing, front and back. Okay, so we left the original engine in here. It didn't do anything to the engine, but it's allowing me to change a lot. I'm curious what kind of power this thing's going to make afterwards. What's this take me to? 930 horsepower at that point. So it's maybe not as much as I was thinking it was. It sure felt like it was, or sounded like it was really fast. That puts us at 967 horsepower. So really cool in the real world in the game it's not a whole heck of a lot we did the wheels we did what little swaps we're gonna do won't let us do any body mods on this thing so let's install this uh, wow gained 250 pounds that has to be from what I did with the wheels and converting it to all-wheel drive. Uh, picked up 300 horsepower. So it didn't really help the car out a whole lot. Made me feel like I did. Now I'm going to 
paint on this a little bit. Not a whole lot, though. Ooh, you know you like that. Let's go with... So this has... The front is still carbon fiber, looks like. Yeah. And then the body is now painted. So it looks like we took a black Mustang, put a carbon fiber nose on it, hood, fenders, grill areas, all carbon fiber, some little custom mirrors there. It's got the cage. It's got the uh, rear sail windows blocked off. Carbon fiber on the rear wheel molding. I think I'm good with that. Will it let me paint the hood? No. Will it let me paint the mirrors? No. The wing? No. Wow, they don't want you to touch their car. It's like they designed it the way they want it, and that's the way it's going to stay. So the wheels could stay black. But the car's got to have a little bit of color to it. Two-tone matte. We could even do carbon fiber on the wheels. It's just all black looking, though. Got to spice this thing up a little bit. Uh, Semi-gloss, gloss, steel. See if we can do anything or come up with anything that looks good with this. Oh, I'm a big fan of orange. Orange. That doesn't really look good, but it looks good at the same time. Oh, come on. Kind of right to where I can't see it. How's that look? Not too shabby. This will be fine for now. This is our first night with this. So let's go see what we can do. I really want to find a fast race. Seems like all the races I've done with this so far with the B-Class cars are just so slow feeling on the tracks. same way so let's try something different let's do it one way what the heck just happened these roads are good for a drift car and for drifting around So a little funky driving the car that you try to put sticky tires on and make it all about. It's a little funky to drive around on this stuff. Because it wants to slide a little more than asphalt, but not not like wet road. It's not super smooth. What, what am I supposed to do there? So the little thing like shoots me into the turn way faster than I can handle. been playing a lot of Halo and coming up to that rock it's going to feel like someone's going to be sitting up there ready to snipe me. I literally had to nail the brakes before I hit that little booster thing and hold them and you can see my black marks going all the way off the side. Okay, let's try to hook up another race. 
Maybe even a Dragatar race. So there's sometimes like coming down the hill, I feel like I'm about to be in motion, I get motion sickness. This guy's supposed to be hard, so let's see. Let's see if he really is or not. Doesn't look like it so far. Oh, Mustang's finally. Those boosters in a fast car are too fast. Like, you literally have to hit your brakes to prevent it from just shooting straight. Oh crap, I just lost the I'm not going to lose the race. No, I'm really going to lose the race. I really should just stop talking. We gotta catch this guy down and race him again. We can't go down like that. Which one was he? It wasn't that one. This guy? No, it wasn't a Porsche. Well, let's see if we can get... What's it? Hater the Goat or something like that, you think? Let's race this guy. Come on, pass him. What is that name? Hater the Goat. Why is that hitting on goat? Uh, this car is actually fast. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn left. It's a little bit hard to see. Oh crap, I missed it again. It's a little bit hard to see the arrows against the uh, orange background. Orange and blue. Oh, I'm never going to run this guy down now. I lost again. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, that's not going to be very cool. I died. You got to admit, that one little spin around, flip around, whatever the heck it was. That was pretty neat. Let's find this again. Don't fall. You kind of have to change the driving style for this. So I want to get back over there to where that is. Looks like we'll have a little race first. Oh, sure. I'm going to start puking from motion sickness. Nice. Oh, no. Try to use the runoff to have some momentum to pass it down. And it worked until I hit him. I'm serious. I'm going to start puking. This is the dynamics. Like the. Oh, no. Oh, I finally won one of them. Just the way it looks when you see like all this huge track and everything coming at you. And you can't see it here, but I'm playing with a 42 inch screen. So sometimes like the, the sense of motion is a little, a little bit much for my old body. Let's try to go back up here to this place. I want to see if I can do some more insane jumps like I did. I'm starting to have fun. I'm starting to get relaxed enough like an extra little bit fun here. Look at that. There it is. Okay. This is... This is crazy. Come on. Come on. Oh, I missed it. There's got to be a way you can make some real, like actually do some deliberate 
clips in here or something. There we go. Oh, landed all the way at the bottom of that. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, I missed it. This is kind of funny. So it looks like the shape of the track, you kind of need to be down here in the really tight part of the turn. You can see that it actually kind of folds back over on itself. And that will allow you to jump and not just go straight off into the water. Some of it you're just going to shoot out, but that curves enough to swing you back into it. So if you don't fast enough, you might actually pull off something really neat. And, and I don't know the terms. I don't know what you're talking about. Yikes. Now, I don't know all the like snowboarding and skating terms. I know McQuist is one of them. And I know how the other one McQuist is. Sounds like something you get from McDonald's. Okay, that didn't work. I can break. Almost got a barrel roll. Good hack keeps starting off down here at the end. Let's see. Oh crap. Really would be nice if this wasn't on top of water. If I was able to jump out of the track and land on dry ground or something so I could claim some of these stunts. I leveled that. Fucking break. Barrel roll. Not quite. On the nose. I don't even get anything for that. Let's see what this spin gets us. Social, no, no, no. Where's that at? Progress. So I got one wheel spin. I've had the worst luck with wheel spins and stuff. Looks like there's a uh, HE edition for destruction skills boost available. I've not seen that before. So, true to fashion, my wheel spin luck is horrible. So it looks like there's some stuff down there. You know, let's just hop online and see if anybody else is in here okay. in the free room. Session for you. See what all is available in
It's taking a long time to set this up. Okay, here we go. So I'm hoping maybe in free roam there's some other options, some things to do. That's weird. Sets me back here. Puts me at the event. So going into free roam kicks me out of the hot wheels. Did that really just kick me completely out of the It did. Well, if that's the case, we need to find where everyone's at and drive around them, show them our new Hot Wheels car. Let's see. Couple people up there, somebody up here at the drifting. Nobody's really doing anything. I think I got on here a little too late tonight. Tomorrow night, I plan on getting on here like 7 o'clock mountain time instead of 10 o'clock like I did. This is a pretty stinking cool car. We're gonna have to come back and do a full paint job on this thing. Two hundred yards. Turn left. Turn left. What is this? Okay, it's like a Holden or something. I thought we were coming up on a Rice or a Civic at first. Listen, this Mustang is so nasty sounding. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. In 400 yards, turn right. These are the same two guys that were just sitting here a minute ago. Even though this car's cool, it sounds cool and stuff, I got a feeling it's probably not really that fast in the race. Let's see how we hold up to this little Corvette here. I don't think I can hear him if he blew his horn. This thing's so loud. Route. 
Oh, here he comes. No. Thought he was gonna gain on me there. Oh, no. Let's pick up an actual drive race just to see what this car actually runs. Event in progress. What event in progress? Is that one guy running like some huge race by himself? Is that why there's nobody on here? Supra. I'm gonna let one of these guys tell me when to go. Nice looking fox body. Okay, so I'm getting nothing to speed up right now. Good time. I'm last here. I pull a draft off from these guys. And we're topped out. That was very underwhelming. So we need to build this thing or tune it some. But I'm not really interested in that right now. Actually, what I'd like to do is still get that bone shaker out. We'll head over here real quick. Get the bone shaker out and just play with it for a minute. get the bone shaker out and just go cruise around a little bit with it. I thought there was also a Jeep available now. Um, auto show of you all. Hot wheels. Got the Mustang. Oh, the twin mill. No, let's get the twin mail for now. We'll go cruise around with the twin mail. But of course, I'm not going to do a stock twin mail. Pink. I like the orange. I don't know. What about special colors here? Kind of like the flat red, even. Well, let's see here. That's pretty sinister looking. Camouflage twin meal. Oh, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's go. It's not letting me tint the colors. It didn't give me the option to tint the color. Maybe not because I haven't actually claimed the vehicle yet. Oh, 
Oh, great. Let's select this. So we got the orange twin meal. Looks like it's big bass boat type candy paint on this thing. Let's take it out here. If you can't see how to drive the thing. Turn right. In 200 yards, keep right. Keep right. Somehow I want to drive it this way. Route. Even though I can't see a thing. Just because it's so cool to have two engines. I want to like lean over. You literally cannot see anything at all. Whoop, whoop, there's some people. In 400 yards, turn sharp right. So this car is pretty fast straight out of the box. In 400 yards, but definitely needs turn more. Turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. In 400 yards, turn right. 225, 226. 226 miles per hour just straight off the showroom floor. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Where you're going. So you get a tachometer you can see. You know, if I drive really close to the close over here to my right, then that's going to put me in the middle enough I can split traffic. There we go. Perfect. That's, that's the way you drive this car. You just get really close to the cars that you can see, and then that means you're probably okay for the cars you can't see. Let's go over to the drag strip. Hey, I actually hit the load. Oops, oops, we're wrecking, we're wrecking. Big jump. You know, I'm really dying to modify this thing. But at the same time, I just want to cruise around in it. So here I'm showing up to this, this race in the baddest looking car and probably the slowest car here. Alpha Dog Fang. And I'm just a little clutch straight. So where's all the guys that were blasting through here at full speed a minute ago? Where'd they go? This car is going to spin the whole way down the track. Okay, so since we're all going to sit here and rev our engines, let's just get the drone out for a second. We got 
that the Lamborghini, the Corvette, and the completely ridiculous car that doesn't exist in real life. And then another Lambo. Nice, got the wide body kit, some wheels. Gotta get out of here. Oh yeah, I'm not very fast. Well, this car can't have two engines sticking out of the hood and be slow. So we're gonna have to change that. We still got over 200 miles per hour. I wonder if it'll let me adjust anything with the car being stock. Should be able to take out some tire pressure. Doesn't matter on the front. Let's see here. Oh, looks like. So it looks like with the car even stock, I can change gearing, alignment, suspension. Ride height is way up there. Let's drop this thing down. Yeah, so you can pretty much change almost anything you want with the car being stock. Take the twin mill now back to the horizon event and see what we can do with it. See if it'll let us make any more power. Or if this is just all we try. He's trying to fly through here and just hit directly on the road going into the event at full speed without hitting the wall. Just fly across the outback and just shoot right down through there. I'm not going to make it there. I can't keep this thing straight even. Well, actually, we're going to make it, but not really. Not fast enough to get through. So in the garage, we can go in and change things. So it looks like there's no engine modifications and probably no engine swaps. I can convert it to all wheel drive, which we'll do just for fun. And wow, that sucks. I can't do anything to make more power. Why would I want to do that? Maybe I need to come back and do an off-road build for this thing. Um, I can stiffen up the chassis. I can put a cage inside it. Don't really know that that actually helps anything at all in the game. Other than that cage adds 206 pounds to this car. Might actually help it some. It's pretty cool, the interior. You can see the big aluminum thing going up in the middle. Up into the roof. That's pretty neat. Let's just go with like a subframe connector type deal. Only adds 51 pounds and then we're gonna gut the car. Wow, that reduces the car's weight a thousand pounds. That is huge. Uh, we converted to all wheel drive, so now let's upgrade the clutches, the gear pack, the drive shaft, and the ring and pinion. 
What can we do with wings? I'm just, you know it's just going to give you a little black chin spoiler. I don't know about little, but big old huge looking thing. It's adjustable. I don't know, it kind of matches me now. We'll do it just for that. And the wing, yeah, whatever. We'll leave it on there. The wheels, I actually like these wheels. I considered the same wheels for my real world daily driven Mustang. That wheel is a KMC Nova, or at least the ones I found in, in the real world. In the worlds was a KMC Nova. So I can change, that's weird, I can only change the front wheel diameter, but not the rear. That's weird. Let's see, we've got to do something with the wheels because I can't look stock rolling around. to have something unique oh well, let's see here that actually looks pretty cool it has the hot wheels look to it is that what we really want and look every one of these is dropping the weight well until i get to that one all of the ones i was looking at at the time was were dropping the weight about 41 pounds like that right there nice deep dish that looks good I think I actually have a mental disorder when it comes to picking out wheels. I always spin forever. That looks pretty good. We'll stick with that for now, just just to call it good. So we'll install the setup. Uh, we drop the total weight on the vehicle after putting our ginormous wheels on there. We drop the weight about 800 pounds, somewhere in that ballpark. And... Picked up a little bit of performance, not much. Most important thing is the car now has the same facial hair as I do. I go into paints and designs. Now that I'm not selecting the paint that I'm wanting to purchase, maybe it will let me do the tint. That just looks, that looks wicked right there. It's like the Batmobile. In fact, matte paint color. Flat black. Yeah, it looks okay. That's what I was looking for a minute ago. So we got that. Uh, let's see here. We want a wing. Oh, we can't tint the windows again on these. Maybe that's something they'll get fixed. Maybe they. I don't know. It's just I find it odd that you can't tint the windows on these cars. So black wheels, maybe. I was actually thinking chrome. Black looks good though. Aluminum polished rims. That's what I was thinking, but now that I look at it, I don't like it as much. Let's go back with the black wheels. Not just any old black. Carbon fiber black. That'll do. Okay, so I'll run this around some here now.
car is a lot faster as an all without car. That actually was a really good launch there. We might be able to make this into a good drag car if we actually deliberately chose our wheels and, and such accordingly. gonna run my tire pressure all the way down gearing it seems like it's just a little geared too low alignment da, da. that guy nailed me and just sent me flying out through here I'm not gonna worry with the downforce on this thing kind of take that off there I want to see if I can make this thing actually quick in the drag strip We'll leave that like it is. This would be a good challenge to actually spend some time tuning this to make a fast red car out of it. Recalculating route. In 400 yards, turn left. We're really not giving us what we need. I'm not getting the miles per hour out of it to actually be a fast race car. getting late tonight I'm gonna to go ahead and kill this live stream now but tomorrow night will be Wednesday and I plan on getting here about seven o'clock mountain standard time gives me time to get home from work uh, cry like a baby for a while eat supper and then get back out here in the garage and start filming so as I close this down tonight I hope I'll see you tomorrow if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this video please hit the like button and we'll do more of the Hot Wheels expansion pack live streaming tomorrow. I'll probably even have my son do a little bit of the driving and play and let him kind of play around and have fun. So you guys have a nice night and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.